Hello everyone, this is Anne from Odusina's Scrap. I am back today with a new junk journal format. So it's kind of a landscape junk journal, the format of a postcard. So this is a Crafty Me Shop project, design team project. It's all Crafty Me Shop laces there and using the new digital kit that I've created and published last week. Look at those gorgeous ladies. So that kit, you have that soft pink, but you also have, can we see a difference? That vintage pink, antique pink with different ladies. If I show you. You have some green and aqua and blue. So different colors, my favorite colors. And when you open it, it's more a landscape than portrait. So you have papers. I even glued some of the postcards that has like a Christian coat or uh or just in the others i think i just left it just plain and you kind of use those long uh, laces to go through so it's a whole i should measure let's take that this is from my husband father he used that okay so these are inches so it's about 13 to 14 13 to 14 inches of lace so it's not a cheap journal <laughs> it is not because out of this big 14 inches piece of lace we could do so much more but I just love the look of a journal like that. Once in a while, right? I've also used my kind of labels like this. So it fits perfectly in other gorgeous Crafty Me Shop lace. So it's really just papers and in the middle I attached two envelopes that I put a label there to, to kind of open it and to make sure this was um, not so fragile I've sewn like a fabric on both sides. So when I'm sewing the signature I grab the, the bag by the fabric. I've been stitching, but that could be glued as well. And for the two postcards here at the beginning, I glued them on a piece of fabric, this one. So this one, as you can see, it's going, it's gluing the whole thing together. The two postcards. Well, I say postcards, cards. But it's a postcard format and I let a little piece there so we can tackle down something. Isn't it great? I'll show you the green one. Look at that. Those ladies are so, so gorgeous. So gorgeous. And this one. And I've put beads. Look at that. Then I created some glycine bag with the same cards from the kit. So in the kit, for each color, you always have two ladies that are on the portrait side 
orientation and two in the landscape. They're not necessarily the same girls. And again, it's all Crafty Me Shop laces and some seam binding with that fancy yarn that I love and use all the time. Look at that green red hair curl. I love her. There you go. So stay in this video if you want to see me doing one of those bags on camera and quickly the, the big um, steps of doing the landscape journal. And then in the next video, we're going to create something to go in the bags. Let's start with creating the journals. So first I'm tearing the, the cards and I'm just in love with that little ruler that um, mimic the tiered edges. I find it's really easier for me to control the tiering. So I'll put the link in the description below. It's only on amazon.com. Even for me in Canada, I had to order it through amazon.com. It seems like amazon.ca doesn't have any of those kinds of rulers, but they're pretty cheap and they work great. So if you're looking for that, I think it's one of my favorite purchases of the last months that I use all the time and I don't regret at all. All right, so I'm gonna attach those two cards together with a piece of fabric, either a piece of lace, a piece of fabric, whatever. And I'm leaving at least a big inch and a half of gap between, between them because that journal is kind of bulky and I don't want to run out of space for the spine. Look at that. This is the, um, the advantage of working with the 3-in-1 glue or the Fabri-Tac is that if you didn't glue at the good spot, you can, you can move it a little bit because the glue doesn't, um, doesn't dry too quickly. Now I jump into the middle of the, of the signature where I have two good seam bags. So I'm gonna cut the bottom of the bags because they were a bit too long and I don't want the bulkiness of the bottom of the bag. I'm gonna align them, make sure they're on the good side and leave a little, a couple millimeters of a gap between them so it folds easily without being too bulky. And then you either glue or sew them together with two pieces of fabric, one on each side. So you start with one side, you attach them and then you glue the other one. So. Jumping back to finalizing that journal, I'm showing you all the layers of the journal. So I start with the cards and then I mix laces, papers, tracing paper, paper that has designs, more laces, avocado stain paper, design, and those glycine bags. So you see they hold well together and it's not too bulky and then you just need to assemble all of your papers um, the size that i did to cut my papers is that i started with the two cards the front and the back cards attached with the the piece of lace and then you can easily measure and see how long you can go in my case, I think it was 13 or 14 inches. So you want the lace a little bit longer than the cards and you want the paper somewhere around the length of the cards, but it's a, it's a shabby chic style. So you can really like have fun with that. The length doesn't count that much. Some can be shorter, others can be longer. And as you see what I'm doing right now, uh, my tracing paper, I just create a bunch of folds 
like I go hard on the folds and after that I can flatten them a little bit or leave them as is and I just love it this way so yeah you don't need any specific measurement but I think my papers they were a little bit less than four inch for the length the hardest part is to align all the papers as you wish. You can also decorate with adding more of the cards, the blank one or the one with coats on it. And um, I've been using the three in one glue for that project just to make sure that it holds well and uh, that the glue doesn't seek through the paper and I can align perfectly. Look at this lace. This is my favorite. Of course, it's a Crafty Me Shop lace and it's really vintage. I don't know, I love that one. This is one of my papers that I um, printed on coffee stain paper. I'll put the link in the description below. So I align everything and we are ready to attach the signature. I'm gonna do a three hole signature. So I just want to make sure everything is kind of aligned and looks great. And for this, because the spine is kind of fabric and the middle section is fabric and there's a lot of fabric there, everything kind of want to move easily a little bit too easily so this will be the challenge if you do that journal is to to make sure that when you do the signature uh, everything is at the good place so you have to take your time and you need to use clips and you need the four clips yeah that's what i would say <laughs> But I'm thinking maybe I should have um, created a template for the holes. Let's say I have a little piece of paper and I do my holes in that little template paper. And then with each page, I place my template on it and I punch my holes. And I would do the, um, the sewing of the signature going through each paper, adding them one by one. That's another option. Um, I don't know if what I say is clear without an example, but I might do another video of that kind of journal, uh, the way I'm just talking about. Cause um, I was thinking after doing three of those, I thought I should really try that option that might be easier. Cause even, because there's a lot of uh, fabric and laces even you see that it's hard to go through all the layers so i need to kind of unpin figure out where is my needle and then complete one by one one page by one page to to complete to go through so might as well have the whole book like that it's not like if we have a hundred pages there anyway all right, so, uh, but that's it. It's, it's a typical three holes signature. And I'm just looking at the tension of the thread to make sure there's no gaps there and looseness. That's it. I'm gonna add beads there and the structure of the journal is done. The only thing I can do now is to hide this um, spine because I wanted to hide the thread so I am doing hand stitches but honestly um, the two others that I've done I just used my hot glue gun or the fabric tag glue it goes a little bit faster but again when we do those junk journals and everything we we can always end so the fabric right but we can always glue it so it really depends your your style and what you're looking for 
at that specific time. It depends my mood, I guess. So sometimes I feel like end stitching and sometimes I want it fast and easy done. So th this one is a piece of um, a collar, I think, from a Crafty Me Shop, but I never use it as its whole. I just grab a little uh, section of it and I love those kind of ribbons swirling around, twisted and sewn. And it's just perfect. I think over those, I should add little beads here and there or French knots. That would be great too. You can, you can add more. But it, it's like a tone-on-tone -tone design with 3D because it's fabric. And I really love that one. If you got it from uh, Crafty Me Shop, try, try it for hiding a spine, I suggest. And if you don't have it and you see it going through one of her sale, I really do recommend you, you grab this this lace, if we can call it the lace. So as for the tutorial part of this landscape junk journal, that's it. And now we're gonna move on to decorate the glassine bag with a card that has a lady on the portrait orientation because we need to use those cards as well, right? <laughs> uh, I love them. They're, they're really quite something. So I'm using the purple one right now. It might look grayish or bluish on camera for you, but it's a purple one. I'm using again one of the Crafty Me Shop lace, this one, and I'm keeping the whole tool part of it. And when I'm gonna glue with my hot glue gun, I'm gonna take the spatula and kind of create some folds in the fabric, in the tool, so it doesn't look straight. You want to kind of create some folds so it looks old and shabby chic and not straight at all. So even there, I'm adding a little bit of, of glue on the side and then I create a little fold there. So, for gluing paper with tool or lace, I tend to go with the hot glue, like it's my number one to go, because it, it holds well through the tool, the lace, the paper, and um, it dries fast. Because otherwise, with some tool like that, you would have to hold your papers all together for a couple of seconds, even minute, to make sure it holds. Look at this lace from Crafty Me Shop. It's a gorgeous lace, but I figure out that I can use the edges and then eventually I'm gonna use the roses in the middle, but look how great the edge is to create a little piece of, uh, of lace, like a little deco on my bags. I'm just in love. It's a small piece of lace and it does the whole thing. I realize that most of the time, if I create a, a really beautiful project, it's not the amount of lace that I'm using, but it's using a really cute piece of lace. So don't be too cheap on your lace when you, when you find them really, really cute, but just use a small amount of it to go far. Now I'm mixing some of the yarns and a seam binding that I dried, creating some wrinkles in it. And I just created a bow. It's... Um, with the yarn and the seam binding, the bow is a little bit more bulky and I love it for that. And that's it. So you see, I've been using a cute lace for the background, 
that little portion of the lace at the top of the bow and the bow and those bags they're the cutest i can tell you i'm just in love with them so in the next video we are gonna create something to put in those bags thanks for watching everyone and have a good week bye bye